Good to see you. All right there, Revenants. Hello, and welcome back to Code Vein. So today we're going to talk about the Bog Predator. He is the big purple bugman that you find in the Howling Pit here upon your entry into this misty, dusk, dusky, dank, uh, dingy area. And they usually comes in they usually come in packs of like twos or threes. However, uh, these guys are very interesting uh, choices of enemies. They have a 25% resist to pierce, they have a 0% resist to slash, and they have a minus 10% resist to crush. So they have a weakness to crush. They have a, a very, 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 very strong weakness to crush here. And because they also stagger very, very hard off of crush, because their balance is exceptionally weak, the Argent Wolf Blade um, is one of the most ideal choices for your attack on this enemy. So if you happen to be in the dried up trenches previously to coming into the dried up or the howling pit, then this will be your weapon of choice that you will want to pick up from the dried up trenches uh, before you arrive here in the howling pit. This is a fantastic sword. You can also use the pipe versus him because it is a crush weapon as well, but the Argent Wolf Blade is uh, by far the uh, best kind of ideal sort of weapon that you can do because it is doing crush damage as it attacks. Okay, uh, for elements, uh, he has a 0% resist to blood. He has a minus 30% to ice. Um, he has a 20% resist to fire, and he has a 40% resist to lightning. So your best idea would be crush ice versus this guy. So the Argent Wolf Blade with Frost Weapon would be excellent. Or better yet, putting a Fion Chrome on it uh, for that extra increase in damage. You get a free 30% just for using a Fion Chrome or Frost Weapon. So instead of just being 20% here on the card, it would actually be 50%. So this would actually, instead of 644, it would act like it was uh, 966 plus the 10% from just being crush damage uh, in, in, in and of itself. So you would be doing over a thousand with just this weapon alone. Whereas this one is at 919 plus 10%, which is just up over a thousand. So it's about, uh, these are about equal almost uh, for attacking this enemy. But if you start stacking on, you know, more ice, then you'll get uh, free ice damage then as well that way. So a uh, very, very good weapon here, the Argent Wolf Blade. If uh, you want to be going for this fella, put ice on it and you'll be just fine. Uh, for the status effects here, we're going to take a look here. Uh, the only way that the values of the uh, debuffs will be equal is if you use a stun cartridge and then Venom Mark, Warding, warding Mark, and Binding Mark uh, as they all come out with uh, debuff buildup at a value of 37 on the weapon itself. So we'll do three slaps uh, with each debuff and I'll show you just how uh, each of the each of them uh, operate here on this fella and by far stun is very very good one two three and you can see he stunned in two hits so two hits to stun on this boy very 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 good um, let's see if I can uh, do a venom okay no don't okay well I got the backstab accidentally Okay, good. Well, it didn't kill him, but he's dead now. Okay, so let's just go back and uh, restart him. But stun is your number one debuff. Uh, exceptionally, exceptionally weak to stunning, uh, which is very, very nice that you can actually get some pretty good stun out on this guy uh, if you need to, and he stuns very frequently. One, two, three. So you can see that this is not as good as... Um, as a stun. Okay, let's go ahead and block or dodge these, and let's go for um, let's go for inhibit. One, two, and three. And so inhibit is in three hits. And slow. One, two, three. One. Okay, and it's it's several hits for slow. So the the order of operations for going for the debuffs on this guy is you want to go stun, inhibit 
uh, Venom, and then Slow. And those are the order that you would want to be using. Stun, Inhibit, Venom, and Slow. And so if you do have access to Stun Cartridges or, or a Stun Weapon or um, Numbing Mark itself, uh, you should do very, very, very well to put these guys into submission pretty quick. Uh, on max difficulty, these guys have 9,900 HP that, that you see here that I'm playing on. That's uh, around 10,000 HP is their uh, value. And then on minimum difficulty, on zero star, on your first playthrough when you come through this area, they have about 2,067 HP. Um, now, there is a very, very interesting um, thing about these guys is you see them do their little lightning attacks. Uh, when they when they put their uh, snout down and they uh, do those lightning attacks. So if we uh, go ahead and defend against their lightning attacks, um, you'll, you'll notice something interesting here. Uh, whoops, that stupid slug. Uh, let me go get rid of that real quick here. Okay. And this guy, uh, all he does is lightning damage. That is all he does. As you can see there, uh, we are 100% invincible to all of his attacks. Uh, everything he does with the little lightning barrage here, or with his weapon attacks, uh, all together. So these guys um, absolutely do 100% lightning damage. Um, don't uh, you know? Don't uh, do anything other than uh, load up on the lightning defense, and the value is 140 or better. Uh, that you want to defend on lightning value for these guys. Uh, so make sure that you have at least 140 and you'll be uh, invincible to these guys. It might be a little higher at like 144 or 145, but uh, I ha I confirmed it at 147 that I was invincible and I was not invincible at 137 and I could not get any more granularity um, without, uh, you know, some intense... Uh, <laughs> Veil investigations, but uh, yeah, if you're above 140, you should do completely well to block or defend against all of his attacks uh, with no problems at all. So keep that in mind for future playthroughs and whatever you might be uh, running against these guys. And so the moral of the story with these guys is crush, ice, and stun. And you can do very, 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 very well versus these guys. So if, if your weapon looks something like this, where we do something like this, perhaps, uh, we go for stun and stun and ice. Uh, these guys go down exceptionally quick. Um, so let's go ahead and get some buffs going here. And if we go for our lightning defense, um, you will notice that... Uh, these guys go down exceptionally fast. Okay. So they can they can seriously be um, destroyed uh, basically uh, instantaneously almost uh, no matter what. And if we go to the um, swirling flood, swirling flood where there are three of them, you can put this to great effect uh, when you go up against these fellas. Um, because there are three of them all at the same time and in order to you know make it not such a uh, painful fight you can simply stun them and attack them like this now these guys come in several varieties they have uh, one-handed swords they have the halberd they have a two-handed sword and they have no weapon where they just use their fists uh, like this fella here this fella has uh, nothing but his fists and he will just kind of uh, punch and attack. This guy has his fists. We saw the halberd fella. Uh, we won't be seeing the two-handed sword guy, but um, if we just kind of run in here and uh, wreak some havoc on these fellas, we'll go ahead and heal, because why not? Um, and then let's just go for this guy. Okay, you can see that we uh, don't even need to really look at what's going on because we are invincible here okay you can see here that i don't even know what i'm attacking this guy's attacking me okay yep and you can see that uh you can just uh, kind of roll over these guys 
absolutely no problem at all. You don't even have to look or aim or do anything at what you're doing. You just kind of swing your sword and you hit them and they die. So, um, so watch out for these guys. They do have a very, very large jumping attack that comes towards you. Uh, so be careful backing up to heal because that uh, typically will get you into a situation where they will slash you down unless you're invincible, right? Uh, they do have a three uh, a three slash attack where the last attack will knock you down. They have the lightning barrage thing where the lightning goes back and forth. They have uh, a very quick dash toward you with a slash. And then they have uh, the bare fist guys. They have some, uh, some snout attacks where they try and uppercut you after a combo uh, so these guys have several several different attacks but they all do lightning damage and so if you just uh, buff up on lightning defense you will be completely fine and you won't have to worry about any of their attack patterns they have a very 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 skinny uh, backstab area around the back let me go show you uh, just how difficult that is to find on these guys they have uh, it's uh, kind of just slightly down into the right of the uh, small of their back where their little tail thing starts to uh, propagate and so you can you can kind of see that uh, area I uh, will see uh, whoops uh, so this area right here is basically where the backstab is and you have to be kind of a full body width behind him you can't be right underneath him otherwise it won't activate so you have to be back away from him and slightly to his right uh, corner so let's get him active let's see what he's gonna do we'll get some defense here we won't have to worry about that and you can see there uh, we hit uh, right about down in this area and we had to be kind of back further but as soon as we are up underneath him or anything uh, we won't be able to See, we can't get the backstab here. Oh, we can't get the backstab there. And there we get the backstab. So uh, it's a very, very thin kind of area. And you have to be uh, kind of right behind him to just to the right, just ever so slightly. Um, and then you'll get the backstab every time. But you got to be, you know, like an entire body width away, f away from him. Now, my girl's a little thick, so maybe a little less than her. Um, but, uh, you know. That's, that's just how it goes. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the Bog Predator analysis here. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.